Hey, what's going on friends? Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Hey, my name is Steven and I want to share my five worst, worst hikes of 2023. Now, just because they're on this list doesn't necessarily mean that I didn't like them or that they're not very good. Far from it. I enjoy every single hike that I go on. I love the adventures that I go on, you know, and they're amazing. Every single one of them are unique in their own way. But this, these made the list just because you know, I had to put a list together for 2023, so there you go. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, there were just certain things about them, you know, that stood out, that were different. And I'm gonna tell you why. Now this area is really interesting, you know, there's, it's a wide open space and there's plenty of, of area where you can actually do nature trail walks and explore and you could even go into the canyon uh, area right there and you have really brilliant colors of the surrounding uh, the surrounding uh, mesas and plateaus and stuff. However, this particular hike that I went on, it was very, very short and, you know, full disclosure, the only reason I went out there is to actually take some drone footage. So there you go. But it was more of a walk than a hike. Um, so, you know, very low key and easy going and uh, not very challenging. It was, it was a little boring. <laughs> Uh, would I do it again? Sure, but I probably put in a lot more miles than what I did that day. Now I had read some reviews about this particular trail that it was really nice, really beautiful and everything. And I got there and started up the trail and everything and uh, it, was, it was cool. It, it did have its cool sections. It did have its really nice looking sections. Um, I did notice though that for whatever reason that part of the mountain there was a lot of dryness on that trail and it was more brown than I was expecting it to be and like I said there's just a lot of dead trees and 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 pines and stuff and it just felt like it could have used a ton more moisture now you know I'm not criticizing the trail not, not only on, on that uh, on that particular thing but yeah, I don't know. It just seemed like the first two miles were the best part of that trail. And then once I got to the end of the trail, it's like, oh, wow, this is it, huh? <laughs> There's no major payoff. It just intersects with another trail that you could take along uh, in, in, in different directions there. So would I do it again? I don't know. I would have to flip a coin. was an okay hike that area is pretty cool actually you know if you're interested in nature walks easy going hikes and you know taking your dog walking out there at the, in the outdoors um, you don't want to you, you don't want anything too challenging this is definitely the trail for you I mean you get to be outside in nature uh, the pinon trees out there and it's really cool really nice it's a little bit more busier than I was expecting it to be yeah, it was just one of those things where it felt more like a nature walk than an actual hike or an actual adventure. For, for what it is, it's, it's good. Um, but for what I like to do, where I like to just have a really nice, amazing payoff at the end and have a really challenging hike in the process, it wasn't that. This one was interesting. Uh, what it is, is just a loop around the mesa and you, you, you pretty much uh, hike along the, the uh, edge of the mesa and then you see some interesting things throughout it. But then after a while it just becomes, for me, it looked like it was very redundant. You know, it's just, you just see desert <laughs> and that's it. And what I ended up doing was after two miles, I was getting bored and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hike to the bottom, you know, to the bottom of this mesa and see how it looks like from the bottom. So I did that and wow, it just opened up, you know, I was like, Ooh, this is a lot more interesting <laughs> just hiking from the bottom because you can see the, the cliff the cliff walls, the different colors uh, of the cliffs right, right there. And uh, it just it offers a lot more uh, really cool stuff. There isn't a set trail necessarily when you're hiking to the bottom, just keep in mind of that, but it's a lot more interesting, that's for sure. And you could actually take that trail to the Hoodoo Trail and hike up and see some really cool hoodoos. But yeah, that, that's what I would recommend. If, if you venture out there, make your way down. The interesting stuff is on the ground.
I kept passing by it when I was exploring other Cerros in the area. And it was, it was small and it looked kind of cool and I was like, you know what, I'll just go ahead and climb this one too. Might as well, why not? So I did and it was, it was uh, the last day that I was out there hiking in the desert and it was a very hot day and you know, the way up wasn't challenging. You know, once I, I, I made my way up, there wasn't a whole lot uh, going on up there. You know, the views were cool and stuff. But then as I started to climb down, um, I took another way where there was more reddish rock. And I really did believe that I was able to climb that down with ease, no problem. And I got to this section where there was at least like an eight foot drop. I would have literally had to jump off uh, this one uh, cliff wall down to the uh, to the next section and I didn't want to risk that plus I was alone and I had my drone stuff with me so I didn't want to damage that so I was like you know what I better hike back up and find and go back the way I came which I did but it was a little bit more of a struggle just because um, I was running out of water and it was getting really really hot you know it was terrible <laughs> it was not fun at all now that was my fault for not being prepared um, you know, I underestimated that small little Cerro, but would I do it again? Maybe if I was, you know, if I was hiking out there with a friend or something, uh, but by myself, nah, probably not. I don't think so. All right, friends, that was my list of the five worst hikes of 2023. Hey, let me know what you guys think about this list. Hey, tell me about your, uh, your bad hikes of this year. <laughs> you know, was there a bad hike, a bad trail that you experienced? That you were like, wow, this was terrible. I did not expect this whatsoever. You know, I, I'm definitely interested in hearing what you have to say about that. But thank you so much for joining me on this video. I will catch you next time.